media bring the word closer to your doorstep. As you can see, we are live at the Lagos Adepola Expressway, where the, the road has been decapitated one, and um, the motorists are forced to pass one way to use um, to use um, the other lane to get there simultaneously. Those coming from the right and those coming from the left, they are now taking one way. So because the, the road has, has already so the CDHL Lagos State are holding a solidarity protest for um, to tell the government to pay attention and fix the road before um, the one-way situation brings um, about accident. You know, so the Lagos State government, the federal government. Lagos Abekuta Expressway, Koiki Media bring you the road closer to your doorstep. Look at the state of the road. Can you see that the um, vehicles are now passing one way and it's to cause accidents? Mr. President, we are not asking for much. We want good road. This road. <laughs> What are we demanding? We want good road. What are we demanding? We want good road. We want good road. We want good road. What are we demanding? We want good road. What are we demanding? We want good road. We want good road. We want good road. What are we demanding? It is Nigeria people. Of the greatest Nigeria people, of our conscious Nigeria people, articulate Nigeria people, greatest Baba, greatest Baba, of the greatest 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 of the greatest. Before we, before we address the press, let's send this message to the bad elements that find themselves in the corridor of power. Because of the present situation, join me in singing Ejai Joy Your Job. 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 Ejai
Stop, stop. Too much accident is too much every day. We are going to make it from here to you for every day. More than two hours we will spend on the road. We are tired of this road. Don't you help us you and mean, do the road for us. You mean too much accident for what? Yes, what, every what, blessed what, what, the accident from here to you for every blessed day. What, what, we are tired. What caused the accident? Is it because of the one way? Road. Bad road. Bad road and one way. One way. It's too much for us. I don't understand like this. It's too much for us. So that is a plea from one of our mothers. That's the plea for one of our mothers. She said accidents have always been consistent on this road because of those that are passing the wrong way.
because this road has become a death trap. Almost every week, this road claims lives. We claim lives. We cannot afford the essence of uh, governance is to give the people dividend of democracy. One of the dividend, dividend of democracy is for the people to have a good road. And as you can see, from this point to uh, of the Lagos Abel Expressway to up to Abel Kuta, certain uh, if for us is the road is, is not motoring. And what we are saying is this: even if it takes you time to fix the road, there's an uh, there's an uh, emergency uh, solution you can put to it, which is temporary by creating the road so that you can be motoring. Bring in a greater level the road from Mero to the affected areas close to our town. And uh, road leaders will be very happy to use the road. And uh, again, one of the reasons why we have to create this road as a uh, uh, matter of urgency is that blind one way is a crime in Lagos State. And some uh, security agencies were using that opportunity to exploit road users. If any of you can move with your car behind me now, if you don't lose your bumper, your AGC before, or your, your motor will hook somewhere to be able to go. Several times containers have fell here. Just recently, uh, a tanker full of petroleum uh, products fell at Color Bus Stop, claimed the life of a young man. And that uh, a tanker fell on about three vehicles at the same time and claimed life. So what we are demanding is not too much. That government can sit today and create this room if they cannot repair it now. That's why we are here. Now, if at the end of this protest and days to come, the federal government does not come to your aid by grading this food or do not yield to your demand. What possibly are we expecting? You're going to sleep? We, as you can see, I am not here in room. I am just one of the representatives of the civil society of nations here. It's a coalition uh, project that we are all agitating for the repair of this road under the banner of coalition of civil society of nations in Nigeria. And for your information, we know the next step to take. This advocacy is just a uh, a warning signal to the government. We can approach court, we can uh, march at the Lagos Assembly, we can then march at the National Assembly. But what we are saying is they can fix this road now by using a grader to grade it, at least to be more doable. And also, our message is going to Mr. Babajide Sawodu to call the man in charge of task force to order. The, Men of the task force, those who are avoiding this road, when we are trying to maintain the other lane, they are behind them, prosecute them, not even prosecution, they exploit them, collecting uh, thousands of naira from them, of which themselves, the task force enforcers, cannot apply this road to go and yes. arrest. Yes. They apply the one way as well, to arrest the other vehicle, apply the same one way. If you want to lead, you must lead by example. As a security agency, you are, if you don't allow that people to fly one way, you must also not fly one way. Sure. So for now, they should give a, a consideration to road users for now to avoid this road using the uh, main road uh, express one way now and give us the traffic officers that can control uh, the road users so that there will be no uh, room for abuse. In fact, they can bring in a, a, a chrome or a, a separation of the road so that for now, to divide the road, so that for now, those who are coming from uh, uh, Oshoti towards Songo and those who are going from Songo to Ikeja do not collide. So they will know that this is the lane I'm going to apply. And with that, the, depending on the time, they are ready to fix the road. And on your question, if they refuse to yield to our advocacy today, our demand, we look for a time, shall take a time. We will approach the court of competent tradition to demand for order of mandamus to compel the government of Lagos State to create this room. They may come with the excuse that 
this is a federal road, fine. But they have all the agency collecting toll here. The agro is collecting money on this road, remitting to the Gotte government. The last man is collect, uh, collecting money on this road, remitting money to the Gotte post. So they can as well grade this road to make it more tolerable. And the more they leave this road like this, the more they generate more money into their boss through group means by exploiting uh, road users. That's why we are saying, so what you know expect us to challenge Tinubu? We are in Lagos. Few months before election, uh, the state governor created uh, Songo, uh, a target to Songo. Someone who can do the same here. So we want them to create this room. And also before they start the grading, they must give order to last man officials. The Ojokoro police station. They have each of the police station around this corner, Ojokoro, Alakuko, Alagado. They have team of anti-one-way uh, police officers who hide under the disguise of one way to exploit negotiations. All this must stop for now. If we have a good road, I'm very sure nobody's going to fly one way. If there are way is good, nobody's going to fly one way. And for example, why is there a crime to fly one way? If you are going from here to Bini, after Ijebo Day, there's a certain portion of the road that's not okay. You are allowed to fly one way legally. It can be replicated in Lagos. So, we are appealing to government. Okay, thank you, sir. Fix this road. Okay. Now. For the record, please, okay. your name again. Comrade Alex Omotenshi, representing Centre for Human and Social Economic Rights. Okay, okay, thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, please. Good morning, gentlemen of the press. My name is Comrade Fumi Jolabi Ajayi. All we are saying of the Nigerian government, they should fix this road. This road has been a dead trap for many. In this mirror night state, I heard many have lost their children. Many have lost their, their husbands. Many have lost their wives. We are pleading to Nigerian government, our president, Bola Tinubu, and the Lagos State government to come to our way and quick as much as possible to fix this road. I will have been a victim of accidents on Sunday. When I came down from the bus, wanted to cross to the other side. A man who was coming from one way, he didn't know. As I was about to cross, I just said, whoa, 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 whoa. It was, it was just only God that said, the man who was already in my door. He was even abusing me. That madam, what are you looking for on the road? Can't you see the road is bad? That people are flying one way. And I said, sorry, it's not, it's not your fault. It is the fault of the government. And also police are also using this avenue to exploit the, 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 the motorists. It's an avenue for, 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 for police to, to, to exploit them. It's also an avenue for the National Road uh, Union to stand on the mid road and be collecting money from the motorists. And these people are also complaining. They are having to be based on the matter. There is hunger in the land. Everything has turned upside down. And this is also a, a death trap for Nigeria, for Lagosia, for Kabuta. Because this is a road that leads to many states, like Oku State. You can take through this place to Oku State. Some weeks ago, at Kala Boston, there was a terrible accident there that a tanker fell down before the Lagos State government to come to rescue the people. The copper died. Someone has already gone. There was a tragedy there. All we are saying, they should fix the road for us. All we are saying, Nigerian government to come to the heads of the masses. Thank you. Your name is What's your name again? My name is Yodola Adeajayi. Your destination? I represent Community Women Initiative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, are you CDHR representative? It is CDHR representative, yeah. Hello, are we are we still together? Hey.
Well, my name is Omota Jebi. My name is Omota Jebi Olawale Sejeriko. I'm from Work Bond International Next Uh This is just a wake up call to the Nigerian government and Nigerian people. On this bad road, we are losing a lot of productive man hour. People are dying, people are being extorted, goods are perishing. The time that people ought to be at their business places are wasted on bad roads, on this bad road. The bad roads in Nigeria is not just Abekuta Lagos Express Road. It's all over Nigeria. And it's an indictment on our ruling airline. It's a shame on the leadership, the ruling leadership of Nigeria. At a point, just recently, the senior president came to Ilaro and saw the bad road there. This same road and the road leading to Ilaro. He came for a question in Ilaro and he said that he's going to intercede. He's going to intervene. Up to now, nothing concretely has been done. We have people drawing money for public funds. We have governors. The president, the federal government. Hello, hello. The federal government has said that any state government that spent money in rehabilitating roads within its jurisdiction shall be reimbursed. Why are the state governments not doing this? Why are they not alleviating the suffering of the masses in their states? I, we know, we know that in on this road we have local government chairpersons, we have councillors, we have House of Assembly, we have senators, we have House of Rep. We are calling on all Nigerians, all these political leaders accountable for the bad roads. We are wasting money, we are wasting life, we are wasting productive man hour, we are being exploited and started on this road. We must take civic action, affirmative action by the people to salvage this road. Thank you. I will see you. We're actually out here this morning to send local boys out. My name is Omid Adewumi Adeshina, representing the Committee for Defense of Man Rights, CDHR. And we are all out here this morning say no to the political condition of this road. Knowing you fully well that this is a major road you know, in the act or at the exit of Lagos State, that the governments of the states and federal government has left the road unattended to. And as you may know, you can imagine the kind of sufferings people undergo on daily basis having to go to their places of work. And in fact, it has actually led to many loss of lives. And this cannot be allowed to continue. And that is why the civil societies are coming out in multitude to say no to this kind of situation. And we are using this opportunity to call on the government as it has been affected. That they should come and do the needful. They must be able to live up to the expectation of the populace because a lot of things are happening that we cannot even afford you know, to allow to continue to happen. For example, two weeks ago, what happened on this road? A tanker fell at a bus stop around Kola. About three or four weeks ago, a 40 footer container fell down carrying a chemical of a major plate manufacturing company. Can you imagine the loss of property, the lives, and the money that have been allowed to go on this road? And on this road, we are coming out to say no to the opportunity of this. That the government should wake up, that the giant in them that is sleeping for so long should wake up and do the needful as far as this road is concerned, so that at least we can begin to enjoy the dividend of democracy that is being promised. So, on this note, I said no to this deploying position of the road. And once, aside this road and every other road that has been affected in this manner, should be attended to. Thank you. Atiga, 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 Atiga,
Lagos are back with Ice Nation once again. Before you came here, I bring you the world goes off your doorstep. The 13th day of December 2023. Today is the right day. Solidarity protest to demand the fixing of the dilapidated Lagos Abelkuta Expressway. Okay, um, someone wants to talk. I think he is a victim of the accident of the um, Lagos Abelkuta Expressway. Good morning, sir. Yeah, uh, please want to talk to us about the situation of the road. You want to talk to us about the situation of the road? Yes, yes, yes. yes. What, do you have to, what do you have to tell us? I, as it is, I'm not as I speak, I'm a victim of the road. I don't like it. Do you 
So we are going to end the broadcast now. That is all about that. At the Lagos of Ekuta Expressway, the Meron Jaye, Meron Aziz, Odokoro. Koiki Media bring you the word closer to your doorstep, 13th of December 2023. So that's all about that.